everybody, Natalia Tosin in crochet.com. I hope everybody's having a good time. I am making a thermal stitch back bottom, uh, but this video is not about this stitch. Uh, it's about crochet hooks, so I have a tutorial for that stitch. You can look it up on my website. Uh, I learned to crochet when I was a child, but I was mostly knitting until I was in my 30s when I realized that crochet can be used to create uh, clothing and that's what I'm mostly interested in. So since then, uh, it, crochet kind of consumed me. But all that time I was using this kind of hooks, um, like uh, skinny steel and aluminum hooks, and I didn't know better. I was pretty happy with these hooks. Uh, until I realized that I want to address a uh, yarn splitting issue. I started to read some reviews and did my research and I realized that some hooks uh, are better for that. Um, so that's when I got uh, Clover uh, Soft Touch hooks. This, this is my collection of a few. I actually need more. We'll be getting some. So when I posted news on my social accounts that I switched from um, skinny hooks, skinny metal hooks to Clover Soft Touch, I received a, a huge response from you, hundreds of comments. Uh, it was so great. Thank you so much. I learned so much and uh, figured out that uh, it looks like the most loved crochet hooks among people who contacted me were Clover Amore hooks, these ones. So I felt like I am missing out on something great. I had to jump that train. That, that's why I've got that uh, set of hooks. So right now I am running kind of clean experiment. I am working on the same round with Clover Soft Touch. Boom, boom, boom. And now let's switch to Clover Amore. So both hooks feel very, very nice, but I like uh, soft touch hooks a little bit better and I will tell you why. The handles are made out of different material. Uh, the Clover Amore uh, handles are rubber and they are very easy. Some people tell, told me that easy to grab on, easy to hold on, that rubber material, it's not slippery. These uh, soft touch are plastic handles and they have a little pad on one side, which I um, assume made with the same rubberish material uh, to easy, you know, to put your thumb on. And for me, that handle uh, feels a little bit better. I don't know why, but it does. So uh, also uh, the soft touch hook are practically weightless. It's like a uh, feather, you know, I don't feel any weight in that hook, but some people like heavier hooks, even very heavy hooks. So it's very personal experience. Also the shaft, the metal part of the hook um, uh, on, so, on Clover Soft Touch is a little bit uh, shorter and it feels better to me. Maybe because I'm a pencil holder, not a knife holder. I don't know why, but it feels a little bit more comfortable to me. The only uh, department in which uh, Clover Amore hooks win for me uh, is that the fact that they're all different. Uh, look at Soft Touch. I mean, come on, people. It's the same brand, but for some reason, these are all the same color. When I have to uh, find the hook I need, I have to like search through all of them and some, maybe even put my glasses on to see the markings. Uh, I mean, and also like out of all colors uh all pretty colors out there why they chose this one i don't know i actually like mastered color but it's not quite that it's a baby poop color i think and you know we spent so much time looking at crochet hooks they could treat us better <laughs> didn't they but i guess you can't have it all can you so that's my review again i'm not affiliated with that brand or any other brand I just like these hooks. Uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your comments. I learned so much from you. Have a great day and see you next time.